So, on with the story, right? Well, on with the uh, explanation. And uh, I just noticed, actually, I've got an email back from the person who I'm going to speak about now. Um, th this is the admin guy of the forum. That at first I was uh, concerned ab about because um, it seemed like he, 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 was, he was duped basically by um, this guy. This thing, a uh, 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 name caller. Shall I refer to him as his real name? Uh, for Luhan, yeah. Now, we've got a forum admin person from Italy called Andrea. It goes under the name NDW. NDW. Small caps, small letters, I mean. Um, and when I asked him, uh, the world is waiting for your response, he, he replied saying, the world has waited. Ha ha ha. Doesn't make sense. I asked you for a decent response. I wouldn't ask. Uh, huh? The world has waited. Yeah, okay. Well, we're still waiting for your response. You're saying it like if I needed to respond. Anyway, apart from that. Um, Andrea, I was quite concerned about your. Um, the fact that you were kind of being caught up in this, right? I can only um, conclude now from your responses and stuff and your reluctance to even acknowledge anything that I've said about the, how dodgy this person is that you're actually in on it as well and a stooge if you don't know what a stooge is it's kind of like a, a person that pretends not to be an, or an outsider pretends to be an outsider, totally unrelated the whole scam, uh, but in fact it's part of it, and um, uh, kind of key to keeping people, uh, other outsiders in on it, uh, in getting duped as well. Uh, oh, let me just get this down. The, the reason why I was pissed, well, no, pissed off with Andrea in the first place was the fact that he blazed my address online. He knew that I'd uh, split up uh, my girlfriend, well, we'd, we'd, our, our relationship, you know, went tits up. And I was uh, living in my works unit uh, on the edge of town. And um, the fact that he wouldn't, I mean, a couple of years previous to this, he, he, he wouldn't give me his address, even though that I was going to send him, you know, some, um, some, some items to make organite out of. Uh, and he gave me, he said, oh no, you can't, you can't send it to my house, because uh, something about, like, the, uh, the postal service will put spells on them, on anything that's sent to his house, so... Uh, he gave me like a, a different address of his friend's house, like on, on, on you know, uh, miles away that he would go and pick up in a few weeks. Even when he did pick him up, he said, oh, the spell's still got to put on them anyway. So, I mean, I, I, I just thought, you know, all right, then. you know, it wasn't that big a deal at the time. But it was only when um, he kept on asking me, for when I, when I said I was going to leave the forum, he kept on asking me, Oh, before you go, before you go, you have to give me your address. I need to send you some stuff. I'm like, I don't want anything. It's all right, you know. I, I, I you know, but just like, I said, like, look, if you want, really want to find my address out, just click on my fucking website, which is like linked to the, the forum anyway. Scroll to the bottom of the page, and my web, my, my address to my workplace is there. That's where I'm staying at the moment. And uh, he, he just was, I couldn't get this in his head. Uh, I'm like. He kept on asking me, like, after you know, several times after me saying, look, just scroll to the bottom of the page, please, can you find it that way? And uh, and then I checked the forum then, a few days later, he 
he busted up my contact page on the forum. You know, he clicked on it, it's a picture of my roof and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? And my guy that was... Definitely would not give me his address. I thought it'd be okay just to fucking blast my address up online, on the forum. I mean, no, like, you know, people could find it out if they wanted, that for a few clicks and a few scrolls. It was just blatantly there, which... led way to the, uh, this person turning up at mine. Uh, I mean, I, I, I said straight away when I found, saw my address, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you know what I mean? Blah, blah. And he, luckily he was online at the time he took it off. And he's like, oh, sorry, I don't know. I'm like, you fucking nerd, man. What? Like, don't you get the fact that, like, okay, if you, if you don't want to give your address away you've, in, a, in an email even, why the fuck did you put mine on the forum? Huh? Now oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Anyway, um, from that, uh, I thought, oh, great. So people now, I mean, bear in mind, it's like a, it's like a type of forum that, I mean, it's on a, what's it called? Data Haven server. Uh, I mean, heck knows who might be watching it or wants to, not that anything, not that I got any, uh, like, cycles, well, I don't think I did, anyway, I mean, this person might have been well being a cycle, but, so, I thought, bloody hell, my address has been online for two days, on this forum, anyway, I don't know. And loads of nutters on the forum. Well, you know. <laughs> um, literally, the next day, or oh, a couple of days after, anyway, I had a phone call. Um, I was just, I was like, right, I'm quitting this forum. I'm off. See ya. Now I got like a phone call the next day, um, about ten o'clock in the morning, um, to my work unit. Uh, um, and this, uh, th this female voice on the phone saying, uh, hi there, I'm, uh, I, I'm so-and-so off the forum. I, I got banned from the forum. And this is the only person that got banned that I, I know of from the forum, right? Uh, I saw your address online on the forum and I, I just thought I'd give you a ring because I couldn't speak to you in, on the forum because I'd been banned sort of thing. I know this is a very strange situation that's happened like 12 months before and this is like one of the seeds that was set or like placed I never played on my mind that much but I you know I feel like occasionally wondered why this person got banned when they were just like we're just conversing it's only not saying anything uh, I, I, I was a bit stumped why they got banned anyway because uh, Luan didn't tell me and um, he said, oh, I'm not having uh, people talking rubbish or something like that on the forum. And I was like, okay, well, perhaps he said something really nasty and he had to take it off before I saw it. Not to upset me. And, um, you know, like I said, I, it, it wouldn't play my mind that much, but it was it was a bit strange why they got banned. Anyway, like 12 months down the line now, after Andre put my address online, I had this person ring up saying, uh, oh, I think that Luan's a, an agent. Because, of course, this this forum is all dedicated towards sussing out who the agents are. Right? Um, and I'm like, all right. And she said, I'm the real of the forum. This is why I was saying stuff like the real deal and shit and these, these videos, yes, because there's this person, the real, that's... Uh, rung me up after NDW put my address online. Now bear in mind this place was quite a remote spot of Manchester. It's just outside the city centre, yeah? Surrounded by graveyards. Um, in the middle of the night, just me there on my own basically in this old house, on this old shop. Uh, quite an old building actually. It doesn't look that old from the outside but <laughs> it really bothered me anyway, right? But I, I didn't, it, it was, you know, being there on my own every night for nine months after that. Actually. 
Uh, okay. It's my safe haven, basically. I didn't want my address being put up online. Or I, I, and a lot of knowledge of it being online for a few days, you know, obviously. Uh, this plays a little bit in, in your mind, you know, that you didn't know anyone could turn up like that. Um, so this person rang me and said that they wanted to speak with me because they were, um, just wanted to talk about things, really, and about, uh, kind of how, uh, how dodgy Lou Hen is and, and shit like that, and I'm like, all right, okay. But then they would say, but he's a good person, really. Um, and I'm like, well, I don't know, I fucking, it'd be interesting to meet, to meet you. Actually, quite a, it sounded quite hot on the phone, I've got to say. Now, well, she booked herself in for a, an organite making workshop two weeks from the day that she ran. Yeah, I spoke to her on the phone and she, I booked her in, f I was doing workshops, doing organite workshops. And she booked herself in two weeks uh, and 14 days, you know, I think it was a Wednesday that she ran. And um, Wednesday the 20th of September 2016. And I know it was that date because the next day it was my friend's birthday, during the Chug Dream's birthday, yeah. And we, and he, we, I was gonna, we had it planned. He took the day off work, and we was, we were just gonna have a jam on the roof of a few Bloody Marys and uh, make a bit of organite, about like a constructive day, really, a full day of it, um, rather than just go down the pub and get wrecked, you know. But we do something different, so that's what we did. Um, now, like, bearing in mind, this person <coughs> who rung me up said that she was going to come turn up uh, two weeks in advance, uh, uh, two weeks, you know, after, um, sometime, I guess, in the beginning of uh, October. Now, the very next day after she rang, I, uh, I got up in the morning and I left the house about, I left the, the, the workshop about um, half eleven or something in the morning. To pick my mate up um, to bring him back to the workshop, and they must have timed it just right, you know. Where I, I was just, I just like set off to the uh, pick him up, and I was filling up in the gas station down the road, and the phone went, my, my mobile I answered it, and it was this this woman, and and she was, um, she said, I'm outside your place, I'm outside your shop. I'm like, but you booked yourself in two weeks time. I, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pick up Sweeney. Like this, uh, this is um, a bit strange. Why, why are you turn up now? You know. I mean, I, I might not have been been in. And then she told me that she travelled from Birmingham, and she just jumped on the coach in the morning, and um, and she said, once I got a bee in my bonnet, I've got to, I've got to check it out. I'm like, well, that's looking a bit. Intrusive, anyway, isn't it? I mean, like, really... anyway, so when I when I picked up Sweeney, uh, Govinda, yeah, uh, he didn't believe me. I said, "There's a person off the off that forum, you know, she rang me yesterday, and she turned up at, like mine." So we're going back there now, and she's like, "He's there," and he's like, "Oh, it's dodgy. This is dodgy, man. She's fucking. She's an agent." <laughs> I'm like. It'd be interesting actually, but you know, it's a bit strange where they turn up, where she turned up. So, <laughs> he didn't believe me all the way until I actually got back to mine, and she was there, you know, she turned up, and then um, kind of like gate crashed the whole day basically. So, we didn't get anything done that we wanted, but um, we were chilling on my roof and stuff. And she was very strange the fact that she didn't have any interest in the organite whatsoever. Um, and um, like, what, seemed to want some sort of apology from me for saying certain things on the website about what she said uh, about me on the, on the forum. And I didn't say anything bad, it's just like, being uh, truthfully honest really, she was like using the whole fucking dualisms and, uh, uh, and explanations like checkboard and uh, analogies and shit like that, which I'm like, fucking fuck that shit, really, you know what I mean, don't get hung up on the duality systems, really, it's like, what the fuck, 
Um, and uh, yeah, she wanted me to go, sorry for saying that. So I was like, well, I'm not saying that, you know, you know like I'm still, still to my word or whatever. Anyway, we just talked a load of fucking shit um, most of the day. I didn't mean we used to talk about that much really, but all, all she was talking about is like Luhat. Now, she had no interest in all that at all. She, she said she didn't believe in it and said she didn't like it. And I'm like, oh, well, why the fuck do you want to score him anyway? Um, and uh, that she, uh, oh yeah, she was very, very, very uh, stressful that X, he's an ex Scientologist. I was like, well, you know, he's a Scientologist, isn't it? You know, he spent like 30 odd years and got, and got to the org and shit like that. Uh, the sea org and stuff. And she's like, yes, but he's X, he's X, X, X. I'm like, oh, okay. And that's the same thing that what Andrea said as well. Like, uh, we'd always like make a big point about how X Scientologist that person is. Okay. Right. Now, uh, this person was quite freaky. She had a mad cover story. Her cover story was that um, she was training to be the, the first 50-year-old 100-meter sprinter gold medalist. 50-year-old. Like she was 48, 47, 48, something like that. And she was um, training to be like... Um, this 50 year old gold medalist sprinter. Mm -hmm. That's quite mad. She smoked fucking Super Kings <laughs> sausage butties. Uh, and the first thing she said when she turned up, she said, uh, Oh, oh, you have to excuse me because I'm, I'm all, I got my lycras on underneath, underneath me, um, my clothes, and I'm all so sweaty and hot because I've been on the bus and all that. And so you're like, oh. you know what I mean? But like, oh, okay. Um, she ended up being quite freaky actually, and um, doing some weird stuff on my roof, attracting attention and shit. And I'm not going to go into details, but like, we just thought we were a freaky patient, and took it round to my ex partner's house. Um, well, you know, just for a bit of a change of scene, really, because she just leave that lived over the way there. This is the, the girl who I was going out with for years and and uh, we were still like friends and all that and I just and because she, you know she'd been called uh, a man as well <laughs> so this is like uh, they had something in common right both been called men uh, a man a, 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 been called trannies basically right by this person um, So I took her around there, and um, I mean the day was pretty much written off anyway, cut long story short. Uh, took her back to the train station, funny enough, you know, she said she got a coach down <laughs> um, in Stockport. And uh, yeah, Sweeney, Sweeney Govinda recognised that she had a British-American passport as well, which is quite mad. And um, just loads of things which, um, like the cover story was so ridiculous. It would make a person think, oh, they can't be an agent with a cover story like that. But this is probably one about those double double bluff things. Like they go in with like such a shit cover story about what they do. The, the other person thinks that oh, they cannot possibly be an agent with a cover story like that. <laughs> this is a like, type of thing. Like I, I, I can only assume. Well, later <laughs> later on, I kind of like realised that kind of part of it. So. This means that this kind of all got planned 12 to 16 months before and when she got banned from the forum. And funny enough, she set up a, a Facebook account just after she got banned. Um, with just pictures of her on it in some fucking shiny pants and stuff, right? Um, with no friends, no friends in the pictures whatsoever. It, you know, it's, one, it's, it's like a blatant sort of um, uh, fake, fake uh, Facebook account kind of thing. And uh, after that day, it never got touched. It, um, she might have updated it now, but I checked it in 
August or something. And they haven't been updated since like the 20, 20th of um, September last year. Which kind of highlights again that it was only set up to kind of like brag that she was like a, a normal person. Or like a, just a normal regular person not, not um, associated or linked to this group of people. Um, just some of the freaky things which she would um, say. Just, uh, at the time we just thought, you know, just a nutter off the forum and I was like really pissed off with NDW for having to put my address online and for this woman to turn up, right? She was... Oh, there's so fucking someone ringing. Just leave it finished, leave it. Do another one. 